the Squamish Leal Oak Culture Center in the upper village of Whistler. This is Luna Baluna. My name is Penny Eater. Everybody thinks that everybody comes here to Whistler to ski and to be crazy and active and the adrenaline flow. But uh, the arts in Whistler is amazingly thriving. It's this fabulous community of risk takers and a community of very passionate, creative people. Um, most people, as I said, come here to go skiing, but find that they have um, been drawn into a creative passion that they never knew existed. Um, so many people here in Whistler have dual lives. They've started out being a uh, engineer and has turned into a photographer or they started out being a acupuncturist or a massage therapist and have taken a course and become artists and some of them now are some of the the best-selling artists and the best known local artists here in Whistler. Andrea Moore is a massage therapist and she took a workshop a couple of years ago through the Whistler Arts Council and, uh, and is now one of our top selling artists here at the White Dog Studio Gallery. Another one, uh, a good friend of mine, David McComb, he's an engineer by trade and by profession and he's taken to photography and his photography is the most amazing pieces that you'll ever find. I'm Harvey Lim, uh, I own and operate Art Junction Gallery, we've been around uh, since 1999 and we represent uh, contemporary and up and coming BC artists. Uh, this large Airstream piece here is by a young girl called Tarly Gill. I'm Stephanie, I'm with the Worcester Village Art Gallery. Um, this particular artist is Bill Starkey. Uh, he hails from Colorado, the US. Uh, he's cast aluminum, this particular piece, it's called Climber Number no. Two, cast aluminum. The piece is quite fantastic. It's a wonderful element of surprise in any space. It's an installation uh, that can definitely uh, inspire uh, due to its you know, poetic uh, features, as well as uh, inspire those in our particular area of Whistler being climbers. My name is Vincent Massey. Most people call me Binti. And I've been here since I was a little tiny squirt, just out of diapers since this whole place was uh, became a ski hill. I've been an artist in, uh, in town here for 28 years. And this is what I do. Big pieces of art. A lot of my pieces hang in uh, most of the big hotels in town here. Um, this plate in particular is for Raxi's restaurant in the village. If it fires right, we hope. Everything I do is high-fired stoneware clay, so very durable, functional art. Hi there, I'm Cheryl Massey, and this here is a kelp basket that I wove, and it is entirely 100% kelp. This is a backpack that's been woven with red cedar bark that I have gathered in the springtime when the sap is running off the cedar tree. And that gets dried again and cut into strips and woven. I'm Elizabeth Harris and I'm part owner of the Adah Campbell Gallery. We've been in Whistler for almost 20 years. Uh, this is Cameron Bird here. He's one of our longest standing artists in the art gallery. He's uh, an impressionistic landscape artist, true, true landscape artist. He works and lives out of his studio, painting 24-7 stunning images blends a bit more of the abstract with the impressionistic feel, often paints very BC type landscapes. We're making some uh uh, stuff for carving totem poles and masks, that oh. kind of size, so uh, what are called adzes, which are chopping tools, and uh, bend blades or hook blades, which we'd use to carve bowls or the back of masks. Forged out from um, what's called 5160, this is a car spring steel, or this in this case a, a truck spring, so it's just recycled steel, 